Let's appreciate this wonderful uh, group. This group comes from another church across the road. Let's appreciate that other church. And your worship team also went there on the other. They went home. When I'm going to be Tris, I'm going to be Tris. And um, we thank God for, for this uh, collab. Because we are a one church, it's only that we are in two locations for now. Uh, hoping that we'll have even more locations. The song that we have finished singing, the singer says, you are so good. Yeah. You are so good. You sing that song and you mean it. You cry. <laughs> you are so good. Because God indeed is good, isn't he? Every time I wake up in the morning and I'm telling God, thank you for the new day, I also add up and say, Lord, help me also to be thankful in this day because there could be things that might push you not to be thankful to God. So you have to be so determined that you're going to thank God in spite of or despite of or whatever situation you find yourself. Because if there is something that the devil wouldn't want you to open your mouth and be, is to be thankful. If there is a party that he wants to, um, to sponsor, it's a pity party. And, and let me tell you for sure, if you want to go to a place where people are annoyed, go to a place where people are complaining. They don't laugh. Whether they are complaining about the government or concerning the bishop, they don't complain and laugh at the same time. It's always, uso umekunjana, you are a mad as um, during the, this wonderful group of people who caused us to wake up because they called us walituita kajina wazazi tuliitwa kakitu kwamba sisi tukae kando tukae nyumbani igwa yaishi kae nyumbani let's handle uh, the, 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 the giant in the room If you looked at those young people, though what, whatever they were saying was true, because it is mandamano. When they are saying solidarity forever, they are not laughing. They are serious. Solidarity forever. The, the only place that solidarity was good was when we were burying Professor Kiriko the other Thursday. Because they sang solidarity forever, but you know, they were celebrating their professor. And when I stood up, I also told them that it is one of the peaceful solidarity forever, and the union lives on. And yet, what the young people are asking for are things that you, you, you don't need to be annoyed to say it is a fact of life. Ama. But because of where you and I are, the dispensation that we find ourselves and the season we find ourselves, you cannot have it until your face changes. Over the year, I have discovered I don't have to be annoyed to tell you I don't like what you're doing. The fact is I don't like it. You see, the Kenyan police, I don't, and the Ugandan police, yeah, the Kenyan police Ugandan police, South Sudan police, and the Somalia police, and Ethiopian police, and I can name them, even South African police. I don't know the British guys who taught them. Because they're annoyed with you before they even ask you what's the problem. With. And if you are here, you're a police officer, please forgive me. I'm just asking. Because if an American stops you, okay. One time, some, a group, a group, we were a few teams that were going to Israel. Our team and another church team were also going to Israel. So we landed at the border of Egypt and Israel. And there is a lady, I understand, not from our group, that could not enter. And why she could not enter is because 
The guy, the immigration officer, were not Kenyan immigration officers. They were not Kenyan police. There are people who you, they want you to feel comfortable so that you can tell them what they had not even asked you. So this lady was asked very easy questions, you know. And then she, she, she talked and talked. And then she told this uh, Israeli that she is married. And she was asked, happily married? She said, yeah, really happy. Happily married. Then she said, you have nothing to show. Unfortunately, she did not have a ring. So look at your neighbor, tell the neighbor. <laughs> ring is not so bad. Have it, have it. metoka urudishe. Because that lady could not enter. Because this, this guy said, no, you don't love him. I don't believe you. You are not truthful. You are lying. Everything you told me. So, alirudia hapo. Now I'm telling you this. Ukiambiwa urudie hapo, hiyo safari ni ndevu sana. Especially we who went there. Hiyo safari, it is the worst part of the safari. And then you are told, urudi Cairo. Urudie Sinai. Hey, urudie kule haga aliomba bwana akaona maji na visima vimekauka na unarudi peke yako so these people even the americans when you get to their immigration they want you to be their friend actually they smile at you and they they ask oh you are from kenya and they might say oh the, the land of where people run very well you know and then you add chumvi yeah the city of the champions. Oh, you come from the city of the champions. By that time, the detail, your details, they can see it on the screen. So they, they know you don't come from Eldoret. They know you come from Karatega Akurino. <laughs> they know all that. But they, they are making you to feel very comfortable. They, they might even ask a question. Have you ever traveled before? Anywhere? And then, who are you? You try telling them you have gone to Uganda and Tanzania and so on. And they can see your passport is clean. I even don't know why I'm telling you that story. But God has been good, isn't he? And if God has been good then, you and I ought to show it. It has to be seen that our God is good. I had an opportunity one time to, to help a couple that was divorcing. A couple was divorcing. And I'm, I want to tell you if you are here. Some of the things that cause you divorce, they look a giant to you, but they are not. Ulipewa chai bira sukari, umegongesha kikombe, and you believe hakupendi, right? Na ni chai. Na unaweza nunua gunia ya sukari uweke pale. Uwe ukitua tu kidogo unajuekea. No, I'm, I'm serious. So this couple, <laughs> this couple, I met one, and she thought, she wanted to tell me, amenoki, ameenda kwao. And I said, would you allow me to help? Can I come in a little bit and help? And she said yes. Then I told her, Usiende kwa wazazi wako, because you are a kikuyu. Muke wako wakienda kwa wazazi wake, nani mkikuyu? Sasa hiyo ni garama ya mambuzi. Mbuzi za kuamusha waze, mbuzi za siju wengine walale, siju mbuzi za, you know, the process can be, neza kuwa mbuzi nyingi sana. So I, I pleaded with her, please. Just go to a person we can. And they did. But I want to cut the story short and tell you why they were divorcing. And it looked like a mountain. They had a car. Gari ni nzuri na gari ni pepo ingine nyeusi. So, this brother would drive the car, park it somewhere, because they are not using it, get into a vehicle and go to town so that it doesn't consume fuel. 
there is a, a kiondo there is a kikuyu kiondo kodo nyamekoa nyamekoa is a huge kiondo not the one we give you when you are getting married that one is a joke and a half there is nyamekoa it's a huge one she would go with it to the market and buy good uh, many things for the family and she would pass the car and she was a driver she would pass the car parked it's like an passes my brother's car parked at Membele and goes to Ruiru with Nyamekwa and carries food stuff home but the car is there and it is only a few kilometers to Ruiru once a week buy food for the whole week and you are going to benefit so this lady was running away because of that And the husband was mad because every time the wife would go she would not come with the fruits that he loves. So there was a big rift. So you are asking them, why are you running away? Me, I will not be a slave. What slave carrying all this thing when the car is parked there? And the other one said, me, I cannot any eat any fruit. Now you know solving that problem I have never had a time like that. Very easy. Said, "Do you do you want to believe me?" They said, "Yes." Give your car to her once a week. Is that asking too much? He said, "No." Can you see how I solved it? Wow. I smiled at myself. <laughs> Then I told the brother, "Brother, what fruits do you love? Mention them. Mention all the fruits you love. Are those the fruits you love? Buy them. Bring them home." She will prepare them for you. Is that too hard to ask? And the brother says, "No. Let, let's go home." So we prayed and went home. They have lived happily thereafter. <laughs> were they mountains? Yes, they were. But people are not grateful. Let me give you another illustration. Then I'll share a thought or two. Now this is another couple. This couple runs away for a couple of months, runs away. Kabisa? Lakini yakwenda kwa wazazi wake. Alienda akakondo akakomboa nyumba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa ni labda ninakanyanga mtu amerana ame wewe anakomboa nyumba. Ni sawa acha niseme tu. Niliombewa ibada ya kwanza niwe niwe courageous nikuhubiri leo kwa hivyo courage kidogo sio so i met this um, lady and again i ask at first i thought they have all moved into that new estate because if i see if i see paris <laughs> and richard if i see paris i would think they have moved so and i would i met her a couple of times and i would say salimia mzee Salimia mzee. Nasema aenda msalimia. Kumbe So I met their friend and I said so and so is around. He said eh hey, hey, around eh. Hey. Hey, around. You are around. So I looked for her because again you know me I'm a pastor. I'm not an evangelist, I'm not a prophet, I'm not an 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 apostle. Me I'm a pastor. So I looked for that lady and asked, "Would you like me to can I can you allow me to come in?" said yes let's go and visit your husband so i carried i had a, a good car tell your neighbor it's called volkswagen <laughs> oh very wonderful car <laughs> volkswagen a very good car now i told people about it the only place i could not climb climb is when i was going to my in-laws kuna kamlima kako pale nilikuwa nikiambia watu wangu tokeni nyote tukutane juu nitafute dt ya kupanda lakini kuteremka una switch off haikuwa na booster brake zake ni safi sana uh, ikifika pale ukitaka kusimama unasimama hiyo gari mzuri so nikabeba huyu mama na mzee mwingine tukaenda kwa bwana yake nikauliza bwana yake what happened and the guy says nothing sijui mama ni aina gani aliamka tu mara moja etwi akaenda usiamuke mama mara moja etwi uende 
So I asked Mama, what happened? And this is the story. And I want to help you men. Every weight that you add onto your wife, she carries. When your wives are good, eh? Hata na kubebegea mtoto, miezi tisa, eh? Sicheza na yeye. Kile kitu unampa, anawekaka dani, ana incubate kitu. O niseme tena, eh? Eh, anaweka pale, ana incubate. Sasa kinaweza zaa kitu kigine. Eh? Okay. Niliombewa. Wacha niwaambie. So nikauliza mama what happens? Akaniambia huyu mzee wangu ni kama asikiagi vizuri. <laughs> kwa nini? Kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe ananiambia. Wameena na Bishop Kimani wakafanya biashara. Wamepewa elfu mia moja. Anapewa ngiri tatu. Anakuja nazo nyumbani na ananiambia. Sasa ninaona yeye ni bongolala. How can you make a 100,000 profit na upewe ngiri tatu na wewe ndio ulikuwa kada ya mkono? Si hata ungepewa kumi. Now the story went on. Went on with the same bishop Kimani with the same bishop, bishop Kimani. I'm using my name so that I can save the other bishop. Bishop Kimani, Bishop Kimani. So it got to a time that they, their children are not in school and the brother is working with the bishop but there is no money. No business people you make money once, another two months you don't make anything. So unless you share the profit properly, yani kifika mia unapewa dhate angalau ama fote na mdose anakula 60. Yani mnakaa ma survival. Sasa mama watoto walipofukuzwa shule na nyumba akaona watafukuzwa. Ya akasema wacha nihame mape. Mapema ndio best. Sandi kauliza ndugu. Ndugu, hiyo shuhuda ni ya kweli akasema yeye ni ya kweli. Yaani ulikuwa umefinywa eh sana. Na unamwambia mke wako eh sasa umejifundisha nini? Nimejifundisha hata nikifinywa huko nje, nikiingia kwangu mimi ndio bwana wa nyumba yangu. Shida za wale wengine kule nimefinywa na bishop na kukupizwa na bishop nikiingia kwaku kwangu naleta maziwa na kanyama watu wangu wa kule. Hiyo ni kweli eh. Nao nikawaambia sasa ni sawa tuache huyu mama hapa eh mama tukuache eh okoroni aiguali that's okay now The point that the message that I, I want to share has to do with gratefulness because the stories that I have given you is like somebody having a clean sheet but it has a spot of ink ni a white yote but there is a spot of ink. If you ask someone what that sheet has, they will tell you that sheet has a point. A, 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 there's a dot. But a lot of us, when we see that dot, it's like we magnify the dot, we don't see the whiteness of every area. So, another illustration. Maybe another one. Hii samoni yangu ni ndogo, si kubwa, tena ni easy. But this illustration you can take them. One pastor comes to my office hapa tu, Juzi. And anambia, I want to quit. I am tired. I am frustrated. Alipo maliza nikamwambia, yeah, you should quit. Yeah, quit. Akaniangalia akaniambia how how you why are you telling me quit I said quit Are you not going to tell me anything no you just quit Then he kept quiet Nikamwambia kunywa chai We kunywa chai na matunda Then I gave him his own testimony By the time we finished I told him are you quitting he said, no. What has happened? It's because there are so many things that that brother had God done for him that even why he wanted to quit is nothing. And I'm speaking to people here that all they need to do is sit and look at what God has done and then be grateful. I was talking to someone. Leo hii someone yangu ni pointi tatu tu. 
na zinakuja i was telling someone who was asking he wanted to know a little bit about me then i told him nidi to nidu tu maguru na tinie wiki is all my family na igatoria kuria tokiara those jiggers they eat even other places and i'll not tell you which other places but they would go anywhere so a certain time mashimo ndio uko na nyingi na si kware ni mashimo ya mguu yako na kwingine ikikolewa hiyo kitu sasa huyo ananiangalia na niuliza bishop then i'm telling her don't look at me now i am work that god has been doing but i am grateful sasa dutu hakuna hey then i told her kuna kajama kengine kanaitwa ako kanaita goda lies tulikuwa tunakaa sisi familia because we did not know anything else kutoana with my brothers and sisters very busy on saturday yeah kusaidiana bwana rafu yananiangalia bishop dutu da yeah but what you are looking at now is work in progress and god has not finished with me but i am thankful so when i say god you are so good is because where i am there is something that i have that god has done for me i know there are things i don't have now but god who has blessed me now will bless me then but i am thankful right now because of what god has done Do you know there are people oh uh, you know there are people complaining about a shoe but there are people that are thanking God they don't have a shoe but they have a kimugu kingine kimetolewa India kwa sababu ata mugu yake hana and what will you tell that kind of a person and yet this person is so grateful i told you the other day i don't know whether it is you or the others you know of this guy from australia who has no hands no feet no nothing and yet a motivator why because the, he is drunk and he is married to a normal woman not a woman without hands shindwe pepo huyu wakufanya nisiwe thankful to the lord because i should thank god i have a job hata kama ni ndogo because there are some that have none so i want to be grateful because being ungrateful is a spirit that can kill some of us and that is the someone that i have for you today the gospel of luke chapter number 17 the gospel of luke chapter number 17 i go two points and then i'll be done now it happened as he went to jerusalem that he passed through the midst of samaria and galilee then as he entered a certain village there met him 10 men who were lepers who stood afar off because they had leprosy they stood far off they could not get closer to people and it is recorded they are the ones who shouted they lifted their voice and said jesus master have mercy on us and the bible says when he saw them he said to them go show yourself in other words you are healed go and show yourself to the doctor go and let the priest verify you know i like telling people that the first doctors were priests salimia jirani yako Mwambie daktari wa kwanza walikuwa makuhani. Do you know why? It's because ugonjwa ile ilikuwa sugu ni leprosy. Na walikuwa wamejulishwa how to look at leprosy. Ikiwa inapona inafanana gaje. So they are told go and show yourself to that doctor the priest. And and and, and that's okay. So as they walked they discovered yeah, they are healed. So one of them ran back to give thanks to the Lord. That is the whole gist of that story. He goes back to say thank you to Jesus because of what has been done. Wow. He 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 gadget zetu nazo si nzuri. Saa ingine unataka ikuambie kitu, saa ingine haikuambii kitu, saa ingine inapotea, saa ingine inarudi. Hallelujah but i can say it at kama so one of the things that i discover in this passage is what ungratefulness can do the nine who went 
they lacked something else that this one who came back got. Because the Bible says when he came back, he fell at his feet and said, Master, I've come to say thank you. And I like, I like the conversation that was going there. Even Jesus is wondering. Because first of all, the reporter says, by the way, the guy who has come is a Samaritan. And Jesus confirms and he says, where are the others? Where are the Jews? Where are the believers? This man is a Samaritan. He's not even a believer. But he has come to say thank you. And as he finishes saying thank you, Jesus tells him, now go. You have been made whole. In other words, now you're not only healed physically, you're also healed spiritually. So when we don't appreciate, when we are not grateful, we miss the complete of what we have received. Even for us as a church, as we celebrate 40 years, I think it is good for us to know there is some completeness that we need from God. After we say thank you for 40 years, we are telling God, complete us. Cause us to be complete in the other 40 years that you're going to give us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So here we are. Here, there you are. As you celebrate and you thank God for what God has done, you're opening room for God to do much more. I say, uko java. Huyu dada amekusa vizuri ama huyu ndugu. Unampatia katip ka 50. Anakwambia thank you. Unarudi tena. Anakupatia tena. Unampatia 50. Na huko moyo unasema, wewe, siku moja. Nimi unasavage hivi na unaroho safi hivi. Takupamia. But because you don't have, you give it. But you know, what I'm saying is that we go to that same spot because there is someone who appreciates us and welcomes us like they know us. Ah, sijana nilikuwa hapo. At cafe. Nimekushika kahawa yangu. Alafu nikaitisha kakeki fulani. Ninakula kakeki. By the way, <laughs> I have to run away from food. Me, I like food. But I have to run away from it. Nikikata kutorokea, ninakula na inaletea shida. Kwa za mimi kuja, raisi sara. Kuja. Kitu raisi. Kwa hivyo nikaitisha kakeki fulani. I thank God haka kueko. Ah. Have you ever thanked God? Because in your mind you are telling it, Unaona, siku kata, nilitaku kunulia keki, lakini haku, hakuna. So this guy comes back and says, can I serve you any other? Akataja makeki yote, na mini kajifanya naskiza. Kambia, now that that one was not there. Apana. But when I was taking coffee alone, I said, that one I have conquered. And it is like you want to have a celebration. Of conquering. I don't know how many of you have conquered and you feel like you want to tell others, Leo, sukari nilikuwa nikita kweka vijiko tatu. Nika weka kamoja tu la nika shonoka, nika koroga yu, nika kunyo. Anyway, skia. So being grateful, it's important for us being grateful. Because as you are grateful for one, the Lord opens for another one. There are some of us where we are because we are not grateful. God has not opened another door. But God wants to open even that other door. And we need to be grateful for the goodness of the Lord. This guy comes back and is blessed. So this, this is what it means. The other nine, all what they had was physical healing. Now physical healing, we, we can all have physical healing. But spiritual healing is paramount. Because when I'm healed spiritually, it simply means I have an access to this God and what my God does. Point number two. Why people are ungrateful is because people think they are entitled. Siju kama usha enda kunulia mtoto hapa vitu hapa TRM. Na kama huna mtoto, tafuta mtoto wa jirani, umpereka TRM, umunulia kitu. I have taken my grandchildren one time to, to a shop. And I saw how my namesake really had a problem. Because I told them, one item only. One item only. And I left them to make the choice. Ujaona mtoto amesumbuka. Mara anachukua hii. Na mimi si Is that one? Tunaenda. Tukifika, finally what they took out, 
ni kitu ambayo value yake ni ndogo kuliko kile alikuwa ameanza nacho kwa sababu gani majaribio nayo pale kwa kaunta ni nini nakuwa kwa pale cinema suite tu ile ya muti na ile ingine si hizo tu sasa finally toka na moja ya mu kwa sababu lazima utoke na kitu kimo But if you look at him the entitlement is for him to have everything. You go with them to TRM butter and you are buying them some shoes and you want you, you have spent a lot of money so you want to go home. But as you get out they say mm daddy at twendi. Why? Tunataka chips. And then you are telling them viatu na chips ni nini mzuri. And you know children are very interesting. They will tell you rudisha viatu. Tununue chips entitlement but i want to be grateful to the lord i want to be thankful to god i want to appreciate what god does you know but don't behave like a child that it is an entitlement but it is by the grace of god oh my goodness watoto wangu ukiwaambia chawa ni hadithi ukiwaambia dutu ni hadithi ukiwaambia keroboto na kuguni kitu ya ajabu na hizo zilikuwa marafiki zetu kwanza saturday tunachemsha maji kuchoma i say oh my god who can identify with that kuchoma i, I can see sio mimi peke yangu twende pale nje tuchome virobo na zishagi kwa sababu zilikuwa zimekumeingia kwa nguo zingine kwa hivyo kwa muda mwingine bado zipo oh my goodness So some of us have a problem because we feel entitled. You know me I pray for people to get healed. And they do. And I know they tell me. So one time I'm fainting at the family day in Kiambu. Nikaanguka, nikaanguka, nikabebwa. Ukibebwa na ambulance, na anayekubeba na kaa kikuuliza unaitwaje? ujue kuna kitu wamegundua wanataka uendelee ukiogea ukinyamaza ati relax umeenda so anakaaka ati ulisema unaitwa oh wewe ndio unaitwa yani muna, na anataka we uongee you know when i had an accident in the us they did the same because i was feeling a lot of pain so they keep on asking insurance uko nayo utalipiwa na nani ati umetoka wapi ati unaitwaje up to the hospital up to the place where they did all that At that point what comes into your mind is am I not a miracle worker don't I pray for others it is like i feel entitled yet i need to allow god to have his own way because there is no entitlement and also i need god to verify and affirm my faith in him ibada ya kwanza niliambia watu mimi nishafungwa ambia jirani yako bishop ashafungwa lakini ni masaa chikupelekwa kotini but in that cell when, when we entered into that cell we were four of us and there are four corners of a, a good house right a good house has how many corners a good one but there could be others that are but a good one <laughs> as for God so when we entered there we all took to our corners na mabusu yote ikakuja katikati walikuwa wamechikwa walevi pombe wengine kupigana wengine vitu mingi hapo sasa tulipoingia na ni vijana tunaanza kuomba na ndimi we prayed for over one hour we did not know but we knew if we are going to be here the whole night one thing for sure will happen hawa wote wataokoka tutakuwa na dini hapa baimoni so we were all sanctifying ourselves and cleansing the altar and speaking into the altar so the noise we were making the four of us as we prayed was so much that the OCS call was called and the OCS when he came he also called the OCPD so they were there and as we waited to preach the door was open for us like Paul and Silas and we are told where vijana tokeni tokeni so one of the brother who is an archbishop now looked at the ocpd and said hata kama 
Even so, Lord Jesus, come. Iri afanya hukumu. Wakasema, hata si tuhukumiwe. If you don't repent. Actually, the message was simple. If you don't repent, wewe utachomeka na moto unawakaka na vibiriti. Instead of complaining, we were so thankful that we are there. In every situation you find yourself, if you are grateful to the Lord, you will be asking the Lord, what can I do in this situation at this time? Because God will always have a way for you. Some people know I speak Ikamba. Can I tell you how I learned it? It was by default. I was in Thika Technical and I was a prefect. And normally, a class prefect, Form 1 and Form 2, you are a candidate of becoming a captain of something. Because my other friend became the school captain who was the class prefect for the other class. And now he's a doctor somewhere teaching. But because I was born again, they did not know what to do with me. I was not bad. All crooks were being transferred from other schools and taken to a hardship area called Mawengo. Uko. Uko. Nyanza uko. Ama sigaragara. Hapo. Hapo bukula. Hapo bukura hapo. But the good ones, if you are a nice, you are taken to Kabete. Kabete technical. You know, you, are, you come to the city. Or oh, Thika. You know. Or oh, Kenoru in Meru. You know, good ones. So they did not know what to do. So they transferred all the other boys, but me, they didn't. But the principal was wondering what to do with me because I wasn't bad, but I was born again. And we preached to every teacher to get born again, and we told them if they don't get born again, when they die, they will burn with fire and brimstone. And for them, so that they can have peace with us, they would help us with the bus fare. I told them to go, so every weekend, me and the other guy who is an archbishop now will go out to preach and come back late at 6 on Sunday. So they did not know what to do. So after everybody has been transferred, we have had a wonderful camp in Mangu High School, uh, 1973. Now I receive a letter after Christmas telling me, report in Machakos without fail. Machakos Technical. Then I inquired what happened. I was told my father was called by the principal. And he was asked, can't you tell your boy? Your boy is so good. Our channel is so good. My father told the principal, take him the farthest you can. Hata ukiparaka kupereka yeye tabora tekniko, ama moshi tekniko, ama kampala. Take him anywhere you want to take him. So I landed in Machakos. There was a place in Machakos. I thank God. On my way to Machakos, I said, Machako, Machako, wewe, ni mimi na mimi, ni nakuja. Ni mimi na wewe. Kwa hivyo, nilipo ingia basi hapa Machakos bus station, nilianza kujifudisha kikamba. Na kuuliza, atumesama nini? Anarudia. Nilipo enda shule, Wakamba nilikuwa nikiwambia nataka muonge kikamba kwa darasa. Tafadhali. Please. They did not know why I was learning it. With the fujo. Because after one year, I would preach in a marketplace na hiyo kikamba. Why? Because God does not make any mistakes. Any opportunity he gives you is because there is something he wants you to do. So you take it, run with it. Akiona ni vizuri ya kutoe, atakuhamisha but in the process. Why did my father say I should be taken the farthest? It's because mwambie jirani yako, nilikuwa nimeshikwa. Sasa nimeshikwa. Hii ya mwisho nilishikwa nikiwa nimeokoka. Sasa hii ni ya kushikwa kabla hujaokoka. Nilikuwa nikiuza tu vitu vingine na sita kuambia come behind the tent. Kwa hivyo nikashikwa. Kulikuwa na msako tukashikwa. Eh, yo amen kweli nikaje. (laughs) 
Tulipo toroka, tumetoroka, tukielekea mto. We used to run to the river, Chandia river, and then when you get there, you are, you are clothed, you are up, you swim with one hand, you go across, and so on. But the police were there with the dogs, so I met Jificha, so I was arrested, and so on. Na hizo bidazangu, nikaze chimbia mkono, nikaze ficha, nikaze weka kuko chini, nikashikwa. But I was under age. So nikapere kwa koti ya watu wazima, Monday. Jina yangu haikuwa. Tena jina nilikuwa nikitumia, usiniulize ni gani. Hata mimi mwenyewe, sikuwa nikikumbuka. <laughs> Sasa kesi imeisha, nimerudishwa seo. Nikambio, kwa ni ulienda koti gani? Nikazama nilienda koti. Hiyo ni ya watu wakubwa kesho. Kwa hivyo ni karara tena, ni kadetewa kwa ugali. Now the only person who came to see me was my mother. May the Lord rest her soul in eternal peace. But my father, although he knew, hakuja. Jitete, jikamue. He knew the business that I used to do. So when I, on Tuesday, was released, because the story I gave, anybody could receive it. It was a good story. Nili jitete, nakadidi, kaurongo, kapisa, sharp, nikaachiliwa. Nilipo achiliwa, nikaanza kusema, mungu, uki nipereka secondary, niingie, nitaokoka. Nitatorokea hii dhambi ya kuuza hizi vitu. So I went home, and I met my father smiling. He says, no oka. There have been a letter for you here since Friday. You have been called to go to school. Now when I entered Vika Technical, because I was in the same town, singi aguzu wa mono na inibude. Because for me, I used to know them. Na unajua form one upigwa kwa sabu wanaona wata karma wamefanana. So me, I slept in form two. Domia ndio nilika. Na hakuna mtu hata nyama yangu angiaguza. Hata ndizi. Kwa sababu ya hile biyashara nilikuwa nikifanya mkote. <laughs> but, nikajaribu kuokoka. Have you heard my story? Eight times. Niliokoka the eighth time. Every Sunday na okoka. Every... Because I was running away from something. So when my father was told after two years that your son is born again, we can take him anywhere, that no wonder he was saying, take him anywhere. Lakini ya kuokoka, akae. Iyo, iyo ya kuokoka, akaokoka geivyo. I'm saying we need to be grateful. So me, I'm grateful I went to Machakos. I am grateful. I am so grateful that I was arrested, put into cells, before I went to Form 1. I'm so grateful. Kwa sababu nilitorokea biyashara hiyo na vitu zigine nyingi. Na nashukuru mungu aishie milele. So it is not a right. So people are ungrateful because they think it's a right. It is not. When sickness comes, it will hit you too. It is not a right. It is by the grace of God. But I'm going to look at the positivity of the things around. I'm going to be grateful to God. If I'm married, I'll be grateful for my marriage. If I have children, I'll be grateful for my children. I'll, be, I'll look for something that I can be grateful for in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, it is good to know when you are grateful, you have started walking on the road of blessings. Barabara ya baraka inakujaga kwa sababu mtu wa mejitoa kuwa mtu wa shukurani. Mtu wa shukurani. Mtu wa shukurani. You are thankful to God. You are thankful to God. You know, there are people who cry out. They say, oh, I wish my husband would still be there. Hata kama angekua tu haongei. Awe tu amewekwa mapipe, but I see him. Oh, if my wife, if my child, if those kind of cry comes from people that had an attachment. You look at what God has done and you'll be grateful. Umepata mtoto, shukuru mungu kwa yule mtoto. Hata kama, hata kama, my wife preached at someone one time, he said, we umekaa karumu kamoja. Hile tunaitaga three and everything. Muchanganyiko wa kira kitu kwa hiyo. Hiyo nyumba. Alafu mungu waka kutoa. Haka kupereka kama hiyo hiyo lakini ni kubwa. Hile ilikuwa 12 by 14. Sasa nakupatia moja kubwa 16 by 18. Yani ni kubwa kwamba unaweza weka curtain. Uwe ukiambia watu. Can I take you around my house? This you see this curtain. Behind there is my bedroom. You see this other curtain. Behind there it's my kitchen. And this is my sitting room. And I thank God for, if you want to have shower, we go and queue outside there, but it is a shower. Because you see, there are times that we would go out to a, to a long drop, 
na maji ya karai. Sasa kama umeingia maji ya shawa unashukuru Mungu. But there are some of us that are looking for the mansion of others. Don't look at their mansions. Don't care for their gold and silver. Think about what God has done for you and you'll be grateful. Because none of us is where we are. Hata kama sina kitu direagoneda na dire nag. Ndiye miguu yangu, miguu yangu haijabomolewa kama kware ikitolewa hiyo kitu. I say I have something I can thank God for. And that is a prayer that I'm praying that you can learn to thank God. The illustration that I have is this man. This man had multiple problems. His relationships were not working well. They were going down. His business was going down. His health was going down. But he made a resolution that he will look for three things that he can be thankful for every day. So every day he would thank God for his business. How do you thank God for a business that is going down? You say, one of these days, my business is arising up, is rising up, and it's going to fall on pleasant places in Jesus' name. How about my health? My health is changing. I'm going to become better. I will be stronger. I will be healthier. I thank God for my health. How about my relationship? My relationship, God is going to perfect it. And as he did it, every day, every day, Every day, days became weeks, weeks became months, months became years. Without knowing, he started feeling better. He started finding relationship becoming better. He started seeing his business also rising. What happened? His attitude changed. You change your attitude, become grateful to the Lord. I want to finish there by telling you this. You need to look for three things that you can be thankful for. Three, start to two. Tatu tu. Tatu. Vitu tatu tu. Salimia jirani yako. Mwambie jirani, Bishop is talking to you. Vitu tatu. Tatu tu. There are some of us here that you have never thanked God that you have a wife. No wonder you complain every day. Thank God for her. Eh? Tell her she is special. Maybe some of you only think that you see is the negativity of your children. Start telling them they are becoming. Tell them. Tell them how you appreciate them. Tell them. Even prophesy to them. Tell them. Tell them what, what God. Be thankful to the Lord. Some of you, your father, na your mother, ukisikia karibu utapike. Kwa sabire wa kuchapa ukua mdogo. Now you need to start appreciating them. They are your parents. Thank God for your parents. I'm saying three things that you can thank God for. Did you know even failing in an exam, you can be thankful to the Lord? That at least I failed, but I came out knowing English and a little mathematics. I can do some math for myself. Mimi siyo bongo lala. Mimi ni bongo ilio amuka. Katika china la yeso. You see, one of, one of the challenges that I find is when people, they are saying they have nothing to be thankful for. Umeketi chini. Wewe umekalia kiti. Thank God for sitting on that seat. There are people that kuka ningumu, kulala ningumu, kusimama ningumu, mbaka unashindwa, sasa ataka na mnagani. Kwa sabu everything in a muma. Lakini wewe, hata wegine niliona vile mulika. You believed in that seat, you jumped on it, you sat on it, be thankful for what God has done for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sitaki kukuombea nataka ujiombea wewe mwenyewe. Nataka ufunge macho. Macho yako. Hii ya mwili, sifunge ya kiroho. Wachana na ya roho. Ya roho fungua. Na utazame katika maisha yako. Ni vitu vigapi tatu, vitu vitatu unaweza shukuru Mungu kwazo. Vitu tatu, three things. Don't think about so many, just three things. And could those things be also be the things that are challenging you? The things that are causing you not to be grateful. Think about those things. And I want you to start turning around and become a thankful person. Be thankful to what God has done for you. And after you identify them, I want you to stand. And I want you not to worry about your neighbor. Just stand, lift up your hands to the Lord and start thanking, verbalize those things to him. Just tell him. Just tell him, Father, I'm so thankful. 
I am so thankful that today I am alive. I am so thankful that Heavenly Father, you have given me a family, both biological family and spiritual family that we, we gather together every week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. I want to thank you, Lord God, even for what you have given me as a side hustle. I'm so grateful, oh God, for the friends that you have brought my way. I'm so thankful because, Lord God, for my health and my tomorrow is better, is, strong, is perfect because I've come to know you, whom to know is life eternal. I want to be grateful. I want to be grateful for your provision. I'm so grateful because, Lord, you have become Jehovah Jireh for me. You have become Jehovah Rapha for me. I thank you that, God, you have brought me through this far. Your name, your name be praised. Your name be glorified. Your name be glorified. Your name be glorified. God, you are so good. God, you are so good. and finish up our service. Maybe you are here, but you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have not enjoyed his goodness, and you want to enjoy his goodness now. If you would lift up your hand wherever you are, we will see it, and we want to pray for you so that you can get to know this Jesus, this God who is good. Are you there? You want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? you there, you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Amen. We may get seated. I make an announcement or two. Amen.